The thing about summer is that growing up, not all of us were able to play in the park, in the fresh air and sunshine with friends. Not everyone could jump on a bike and disappear into the forest, have new adventures with new people. This is a story about how one group of kids spent an entire summer indoors, away from the sun, away from the fresh air, having a different type of adventure. A rag bag of rejects with wondrous names that weren't the cool set, that were picked last in games. They all came together to put on a play in a barn by a farmhouse that used to store hay. And nobody cared if their sizing was wrong, as long as they wanted to join in the song. And nobody mentioned their voice or their sex, or if they had acne or NHS specs. They bandied together, an army, a team, and realised between them a make-believe dream. The bossiest one wrote a script and some tunes, and the fidgety girl taught them all the right moves. The brainiac measured out plans for a stage, and they all pulled together until it was raised. One played the drums and another guitar, but the piece to resistance the best thing by far was the moment they found a bolt of red cloth in a bag in the corner. They dusted it off. And the velvet there shone in the barn's dancing dust. And with all of their might, they lifted it up. The people were coming now, mums, dads and brothers. All sat and attended as the kids became lovers and pirates and heroes, whatever they chose. Because this was their story, each word and each pose. The audience cheered, and nobody jeered. They stamped and they clapped, each person enwrapped. And framed by the velvet, the misfits lined up. They grabbed the next hand and they bowed and they tucked. And the faces were beaming from first until last As the curtain swished down And the moment soon passed So now when there's a day that I'm feeling dejected the world has turned cold and I'm once more rejected. And I can't recall if I'm straw or I'm hay. I remember that book and the misfits inside. And I tell myself that I am never to hide. And if there are tears on that kind of a day, it's the swish of the curtain that wipes them away.